In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the Km and Vmax of urease. In order to do this, you would have done a number of enzyme reactions with varying concentrations of urea and, at diff and stopped the reaction at different time points. For simplicity, I'm going to just show you how to calculate um, the rate of reaction for two different urea concentrations. But you would do exactly the same thing for any other urea concentration. Here, this graph, I've plotted absorbance versus time. And we see here for 5 millimolar urea that between, if we look at the time points between 2 minutes and 8 minutes, we see that the 8 minute um, time point is not on this linear line. However, points at 2 minutes, 4 minutes, and 6 minutes are perfectly on a straight line. So we would use this to calculate the rate of reaction for 5 millimolar urea. In order to do that, we would just, the, the rate is just the change in absorbance um, divided by the time. So well, how that would look would be equals, the absorbance at 6 minutes is 1, I mean 0 0.1, 0 0.1 minus the absorbance at 2 minutes is 0.032 and we'll divide that that change in absorbance by the time that it took for that um, that change to happen which is um, 6 minutes minus 2 minutes which is 4 minutes and we would get a rate a rate of 0 0.017 absorbance per minute. Let's do the same thing for, for our um, 20 millimolar urea. Here we can see that that in general all the points are, fair, are pretty much on a straight line between 2 minutes and 8 minutes. You'll notice that this point at 4 minutes is a little bit below the line However, all these other three points are, are directly on the line, so I think this is the best fit line um, here. So in order to calculate the rate, we'll look at the change between 8 minutes and 2 minutes. So equals the absorbance at 8 minutes is 0.2 minus the absorbance at 2 minutes is 0 0.06. You can see here it goes 0 0.06. And the time that it took that absorbance change to happen is 6 minutes, 8 minutes, minus 2 minutes. And we get a and we get a rate of 0 0.02. Now, because this is this is determined by basically by I and by um, um, the researchers, um, the researchers brain. Probably everybody who does this can get slightly different um, rates, but we should get something fairly similar. So the, the main goal is to find linear parts of the reaction. We don't want stuff where the reaction has slowed, like here. Um, and we don't want points that are obviously not linear, that maybe there's some error in that point. 